welcome everyone. It's Sportlight. It's Thursday, 8 o'clock right here on We Sports. Notice here is empty. Yes. Uh, we have a substitute. Good, good night. Let me say good evening. Um, Our substitute is parking his car outside. Yes, he's parking so his car. Old face, not... Oh, here he is. Come right on in. Come right on in. Wait, wait. Our wait. substitute presenting... Where the music, boy? I'll tell you. Come on. Music. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick. Oh, my Where are you going with his hairstyle? And he obviously moves the couch. Of course, you know how things happen here. Oh, God, on, dear. On spotlight. So we're going to have a fantastic show. We have Kibwe Trim. He's a professional basketballer, one of Trinidad's very few, or only. I think he might be the only professional basketballer Trinidad. Possibly. Possibly. But looking right there, you go ask him. I will. That was Roger is supposed question. to be here tonight also, coach of the Fights about secondary girls team. Yes. And Tay's here. And Tay's here. Welcome, what's welcome, Tay. Hey, what's up? We sports. We'll find out what's really going on with this head of hair. And uh, soon, of course, we're gonna have all the normal stuff all here with your mother. Was. Rapid fire local and international news right here on your station for sport. We sport, we'll be right. We're going, no, we're going, going straight in. And you you confusing me. Now, last week, we didn't have a show because we had the debate for the presidency of the correct. Debate. Of course, David John Williams is now the president. So, then, yeah, big up, David. Right, let me go. <laughs> let, let me try I to get this mic on. Yeah, 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 you go ahead. You fix up. You fix up. So we dive straight into local news, of course. Sonia Narayan has been banned for playing cricket until further notice. Narayan was found to have an illegal bowling for all of his deliveries and how he will have to undergo remedial work if he's ever to bowl again at any ICC cricket match. He can, however, continue to play at inter-regional and local club level. Mm -hmm. All right. That is a tough... I feel look. sorry for him. I do. It's All not right. 10 years. I think it's a 10-year ban. It's no, a 10-year ban. No, I don't know if it's 10 years or no. Yeah, I believe it is. No, it's not like he did drugs or anything. It's just, I think, the, the reality of it is that he obviously cannot, he's going to have to change his bowling action. That in itself is a difficult thing. If you've tried, to, you know, you've been doing something all your life, and then you had to go and try and change it. So let's say he does actually change his bowling action. Change your ways. Change your ways. We're talking about Ate, the ban on, is it 10 years here? No. How many years no, was he it? Can't, he can't bowl again For the rest until of this. change and... The whole fact of the matter is, is Sunel, my boy, is a setup. I think it's it, a setup. He don't believe it's a setup. It I believe it's a setup. Set I'll it tell you why. It's a setup. Why? It have Indian, and then it have people who were generationally Indian long ago. Oh. I personally think the BCCI, oh, right. that's the Indian board, if you didn't know. No, it's okay. B-Sports, so obviously the viewers will know. They right. should know. Don't like that man at all. Plain no. and simple. He too good looking? He what? Could be that. I think it's here. Fluffier people unite. Go for whatever, backward never. Let's please. move on. What? <laughs> Motto of Where Greenida. you from? I don't know. But move, move Cor on. Current senior women's football team manager Sharon O'Brien says she is leaving the ongoing conflict between her and her former women's football team captain Miley Atten Johnson. Yes, maybe, yeah. to, the maybe, maybe. to the management of Toronto Tobago Football Association, O'Brien stated that the decision to stop was entirely Atten Johnson's own and that she had not indicated whether she would return to training or not. Mm -hmm. hmm. I just given you the... going on by Gordon, boy? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if he's going on in that, that thing? Mm. You, I, I don't know if it's a chick fight. I don't know if it's... A, a, a conflict of interest in a genuine nah, sense. No, 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 no. You feel what? Do you really feel good? I feel there's a definite personality clash between the manager and Melee. And Melee is seemingly of the opinion she stated it that she thinks the manager is not competent, not um, competent in that area of competence to manage the team, and she believes that they need another manager. And she is protesting and she, you know, for example, she was giving examples that they went to a tournament and that same lady was an official at the tournament while trying to manage the team, which I think is absurd. Which is going to be part of the problem because if you really look at it, if you're, if you're buying that whole competency, incompetency argument, she is in charge of just about everything except buying the balls and making yeah, sure yeah, it's yeah. water. Actually, no, because she's the manager. That's she's what she's doing. She's doing everything. Mm. She doing everything else. So I feel it is because she has too much control that probably um, Meili and maybe a no, couple other I, people I, who are not talking have a big problem. They have a it. couple other players are not playing as well, eh? besides Meili. Um, I can't remember the names now, but there's a couple other players who have also protested. So it's an ongoing situation that has not been resolved, and we 
of course we go in. You know what's happening? You put too much woman in one room. Right? Mm. Where's the other thing? I, I was here. Where's the other thing? I, but I, mean, I know what has happened. Yes. Oh God. I know when all this started. Alright, alright. Don't go there. Where's the next captain? He would. He would know. I didn't say that, Michelle. He would know. You done? I done. West Indies captain in a statement to the press has said that the West Indies will exploit the weaknesses in the Australian team which were exposed against New Zealand. We saw some weaknesses we can exploit and follow that with if we can get some quick wickets, we can put some pressure on the middle order. After making these statements, the authorities have been asked to test Mr. Holder for use of hallucinogenic substances. <laughs> Magic what? mushrooms. That's what I think it is. This uh, test for mushrooms? Jason I don't think this just so much. Jason Holder, you're young, you're impressionable, you're going on. You see that thought process you had there? Forget that. Reality is, you're going to get a pile of katas. Hi. We Keeps. can't say that on TV. Oh, yes, you're going to get lit. There's no cable. You're going to, you're going, yeah, you you're going to be completely bamboozled and, and so forth and so forth. You know, you will not see the light of day. There's no weakness to exploit. The only weakness is on the West Indies team. I would have asked Mr. Holder. Describe and discuss in 500 words. What are what the weaknesses? weaknesses? You, <laughs> <in Australia laughs> team, my friend. you know what I mean? What, what weakness is that? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what he was looking Listen, at. Listen, you know, if Weston, he's going to cut their tail, they're going to sing a different story here. Yeah. It was, yeah, Guru. I would come in here and I would, I would eat these brand new Jordans. I just. <laughs> no, my friend. You're eating them. I would eat them. We have paint All on right. your new Jordans? Just, just get those. You mean, you know what? Go ahead, for whatever. Jack Warner, on his way out of court yesterday, has done it again. Asked the reporter to... Ask him another. Ask him This time, a French reporter here to report of Warner's extradition hearings Ooh. tried to ask Mr. Warner a question as he exited the court. But Warner let him know he was asking the wrong person and, and that he should... Ask your mother. Ask your mother. This Wait. was followed by one of his entourage. <laughs> Asking the reporter if he did not have better things to do, like go to interview ISIS terrorists. This from the man who says he does not want to be part of the international media circus that wants to desecrate and demean people. How is your mom, though? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> and then he said, then the man said oh, his mother was, my mom's great. Right. My mom is dead. <laughs> Jack, Jack throwing shit like a professional, you know. I think Jack is going to walk on the West Indies team. He's throwing it hot. Yeah, 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 boy. Hey, Jack Warner, boy, I... <laughs> what, was he, what was he ruling in the court yesterday? Nothing. They, 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 went they put it off again? They went to they February. Off, yeah, apparently the judge was on a trip. The judge on a trip somewhere with Aibo Archie. That's what they say. Yeah, I think you... That's what they say. The official... Yeah, let me be in contempt of court. Yeah. The judge right, was let's there. move on. <laughs> all right. To our first Marawa for the night for all your fans out there. Captain of the Leeward Islands cricket team made the super strategic decision to declare his first innings on 24 runs for seven wickets, claiming the pitch was deteriorating. The result was that the Windwards promptly beat them inside of two days. Captain Steve, <laughs> 20 what? You does a typo? Is a no, that's not a typo. 224 runs for seven no, wickets. No, that's not 200. The man declared at 24 runs for seven wickets. We see a pattern of uh, Captain C in the West and he is developing here. I'm going to leave that one right there. How are you doing, Jason Holder? Jason Holder, Stephen Leibold, all of y'all had to be mad at what? Mad, y'all not, that, that, you're not, you're mad at what? What kind of? 24 for 7. I, I thought it was a typo, you know. No. You know, he have a dyslexia I, I problem. Wouldn't even, I wouldn't even declare 24 for 7 in a lunchtime sweat. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> we bought cricket in the car park. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, we, we, anyhow, go ahead. <laughs> Moving right along. Anyway, we need to take a break. When we come back, Keyboy Trim is here, our professional basketballer outside. I think he's retiring. Are you retiring, Kibwe? You see, I read my news. Aye, aye, aye. So we're taking a quick break when we come back right here on Spotlight.